Hey, it's the Ultimate Handyman. Today I'm going to show you how to repair dents in a two-stroke dirt bike exhaust. And I'm going to be using parts bought from the hardware store. So anybody could do this. So here are some of the materials I'm going to need. I'm going to be using a one and a half inch by one and a quarter coupler. I'm going to be using an expansion plug. I'm going to be using some tubeless tire valves and a one inch PVC cap. So I'm gonna quickly explain to you what I'm gonna be doing to get the dents out. Basically, I'm gonna be plugging one end of the pipe, then I'm gonna be putting another plug slash filler on the other side of the pipe. We're gonna fill it with compressed air, and then I'm gonna heat the dent with a torch. So I wanted to pause the video to mention that they do make special tools to plug the ends of two-stroke exhaust pipes. Um, if you're gonna be doing this job a lot, you might wanna pick up one of these tools, or if you have a shop and you need to repair exhaust pipes, definitely buy this tool. I'm making this video for someone that's a DIYer because these tools cost anywhere from $120 to $140. And a lot of guys, you know what, they don't have a lot of money and you wanna DIY this for cheap. And all the parts that I bought at the hardware store were around $25, um, could vary slightly. Um, that's not including the uh, torch and uh, gas you need to buy to heat up the pipe. All right, so let's get back to the video. So to plug the small end of the pipe, I'm using a neoprene expansion plug. I actually bought two different sizes because I wasn't quite sure which would fit in there. Um, this one fit actually perfectly, but the only problem is it didn't hold, it didn't have enough bite to grab onto that pipe. So I'm gonna be using the expansion plug that was slightly bigger than the pipe, and I ended up having to sand it down. So I just basically took the uh, expansion plug apart, put it on a long uh, bolt that I had laying around. It's actually the same size bolt that uh, came in the expansion plug. And then I installed that onto my drill press and then just got some really coarse, uh, like a sanding disc and just sanded it down until it was just snug enough to fit in the pipe. So I used a brass hammer to hammer the plug the rest of the way in, and then I tightened it up with my half inch wrench. So we're gonna be working on the filler valve now for the large side of the exhaust pipe. We're gonna to need to insert the tubeless tire valve into the one inch PVC cap. So we're gonna to need to drill a hole through the one inch cap. The hole size I used was a nine sixteenth. I marked it with a little blue so you could see it there. Um, I just used a step drill bit. It actually worked really well to bore through the PVC cap. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our tubeless tire valve into the PVC cap, and then we're gonna just pull it through with a pair of pliers. And you wanna make sure that this thing gets all the way through and it seats on the inside of that cap. Basically, it seals by having that air pressure pushing against it. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our rubber coupler onto the exhaust pipe. When you do this, make sure everything is really clean and I actually sanded the inside of the rubber coupler and the outside of that steel so it would give it a little bit of a bite uh, to grab onto that pipe. And you're gonna wanna make sure that coupler goes in all the way until it bottoms out on the uh, little stopper on it since this is an inch and a half to inch and a quarter. And I'm using two hose clamps so you're gonna have to pick up uh, two more hose clamps these couplers actually do come with hose clamps, but you're going to need two extras uh, to do this job. So the first hose clamp is basically clamping on that larger portion of the exhaust pipe. And then the secondary hose clamp, I'm going to wrench it down all the way until it clamps down on the uh, pipe itself. And it's actually smaller than the larger section, and that will help to hold this rubber coupler onto the exhaust pipe so it won't go flying off. Now I'm gonna insert my PVC end cap with the filler valve installed. Make sure you sand that part as well and make sure everything's nice and clean and there's no oil of, you know, from the exhaust pipe. I did notice some of the oil when I was moving it around was coming out of the exhaust and getting on the fittings. So just make sure you clean everything really good. So I'm actually gonna be using two more hose clamps for this end to clamp down on that end cap to make sure it uh, doesn't leak and that uh, it doesn't go flying apart. As a precaution, I added some tie wire over the one inch cap and the tie wire ties into the exhaust pipe on the existing 
uh, loops that are welded on where the springs go, and that's gonna help hold the end cap on and the rubber coupler. And as an added precaution, I wrapped everything in duct tape just to keep everything intact in case something failed or exploded, it wouldn't go flying across the shop. So now it's time to do a pressure test on the exhaust pipe just to make sure it holds air. So I'm using a standard tire inflator that hooks to your air compressor. Uh, this one actually clips onto the Schrader valve so you don't have to hold it. And it has a built-in uh, pressure regulator. So I'm filling the exhaust pipe to about 60 PSI to do an initial test and uh, it worked out great. There was no leaks. So to heat up this dent, I ended up using map gas. And the reason I picked map gas for the video is because I know that not everyone has an oxyacetylene setup. Uh, those can be quite expensive and I wanted everyone to have access uh, to a torch so they can do this uh, dent removal. Um, you can pick up a map gas torch at any big box store or hardware store in the United States and they're not that expensive. Um, if you are using oxyacetylene or you have a setup, it'll be much faster. This would already have been glowing red and the dent probably would have been popped out. It's just going to take you a little bit more time uh, to heat up the dent area. So you're just going to have to hold the torch longer in uh, one spot. So basically what we're doing is we're going to heat up this dent until the metal gets soft enough for the compressed air on the inside of the pipe to push that dent back out. And it's kind of like magic. You're, you're sitting here watching this as I'm heating it and you don't really notice it moving. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh, the dent is gone. You can see it right here. It moved quite a bit right where that weld is. Um, it's kind of like magic, pretty uh, cool process. Um, now I wanted to mention that if your exhaust has a lot more dents in it, it can rob your horsepower up to 6% and your torque to around 4%. So you definitely don't want to have too many dents in your two-stroke exhaust pipe because you're just robbing yourself of performance. So after the exhaust pipe cooled down, I took the duct tape off and the neoprene expansion plug, it didn't move at all. The other side where I have the PVC cap and the rubber coupler, I did notice some oil seeping in between the PVC cap and the rubber coupler. I also had some oil seeping in between the exhaust pipe and the rubber coupler. Um, the rubber coupler didn't move at all. It stayed in position. I guess around 85 to 90 PSI was enough pressure to let the uh, oil mixture and air seep in between the uh, coupler and the exhaust pipe and that PVC cap. But it really didn't matter because you can just keep pumping compressed air in there to get the pressure back up to where you need it. I think the max I went was about 90 PSI. So to get the expansion plug out of the end of the exhaust pipe, I just loosened the nut and then I filled the exhaust with about 25 to 30 PSI and that expansion plug went flying out of the end. Uh, it actually went into the tree in my front yard, probably shot it about 15 feet away from the garage. So be careful when doing this because that thing's a pretty heavy little uh, plug and it can do some damage if it hits a car. Um, I ended up finding it here on the lawn next to the uh, Halloween decorations. Luckily I was able to find it. <laughs> so be careful when doing this. So I'm gonna give you a before and after. We've got the dented pipe on the left and the repaired pipe on the right. And I didn't realize until I watched this footage back how dented the pipe actually was. Um, I forgot how deep that thing was. Um, great results. I'm really pleased with this process. Um, if this ever happens again, I'll be doing this in the future. Um, I ended up cleaning all of the rust off the exhaust pipe just to make it look a little bit more presentable on the bike. And I couldn't be happier with the results. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll answer any questions that you uh, send to me. Um, if you could do me a huge favor, can you please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, also ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on my latest how-to videos. And with that said, I wanna thank you all for watching, and I'll see you the next how-to video. And oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other videos right here.